reshuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Libra, recent past energy between you and your person, Seven of Pentacles, and it's with the Fool card. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is often a card about returns on investments. This could be literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. So, this is usually positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while, and things will be moving along really well. And you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. But you might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, or situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. Now it's with the full card, which is an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. We all know that children, their trusting and trust forms the meaning for this card. Now, this is considered a positive card in the tarot, but, well, this card is showing that there could be one thing. You're going to have to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Yeah, because that's all blue water below him. It looks like the Pacific Ocean. So, yeah, that's just how they depicted this, this card um, for this deck. Yeah, just ready to take a leap of faith. And you're going for it, ready for a new beginning. Now, the recent past energy, like I said, Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Fool for you and your person that you're dealing with. Now, what this is telling me, uh, Libra, is that like I said, the fool card, you, this could have been a new person that you, that you met, or maybe it was somebody that came back, but I'm getting for a lot of you, this was a new person, and you, you're ready to just take a leap of faith and go for it, because you were ready for a new beginning at that time, so you jumped right on in there, without any thought whatsoever, without, well, I won't say not, I won't say without any thought. Maybe you gave it thought, but you, I'm, I'm kidding for a lot of you. For some reason, you didn't have to give it a lot of thought. Maybe this person, they were the, the package that you, you've been waiting for. You felt, like, you felt like this person was a complete package, so you jumped right on in there. You were ready for a new beginning, a fresh new start in your life. Yeah, you went for it, okay? Now, because it's with this Seven of Pentacles, it's showing that it was good. Things were working out. And, and you, put in a, you put in a lot of effort and energy into the connection, and so did they. Yeah, because that's what she's doing. Seven of Pentacles, the card above the word past, she's watering this plant. She had it ever since it was a little baby. She could hold it in the palm of her hand. But now it's like 10 feet tall. The leaves are rich and dark and green and well-nourished. 
So yeah, the two of you put in a lot of work in the connection, and it was growing. <clears throat> the connection was growing, or it felt like it was growing. So yeah, you felt like you did the right thing. You, you took a leap of faith towards something that finally was working. So, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So, we got the Four of Pentacles, and it's with the Empress. Four of, four of Pentacles can be a card about holding on to things, people, maybe money, or maybe situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So, when this card appears in a reading, it could be a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four Pinnacles can point to anxiety. It can point to fear, anxiety. Could be about money or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. But the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping does not bring security. Now it's with the Empress. Just not the Empress. She doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things. Her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Keep in mind this doesn't mean she'll always get her way. But she's actually a reminder not to ignore your creative and your intuitive side, it can signify coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. We all know there's many types of wealth, there's many types of riches in life, and money is actually only one of them, but the Empress can encompass any or all of them. Yes, the Empress can have it all. Yeah, so Libra, what's coming coming up? We got this four of pentacles clarified by the Empress. Yeah, so this is telling me that it's telling me that you could be this person that you took a leap of faith towards and and it's growing or it feels like it's growing. This is, this Four of Pentacles is telling me that you could be with someone hmm. I'm getting a couple of downloads here. Yeah, I'm getting a couple, a couple of storylines. Okay, you could be with someone who's very attracted to you. Because the Empress is about um, being a potent time for love, because you could find a lot of people drawn to you and attracted to you. They could be very attracted to you and drawn to you. They could have deep love for you, and they're just clinging on to you really tight in an unhealthy way. You could feel smothered, or you could feel like this person is clingy needy. Some type of unhealthy clinging here. And it's because they're attracted to you. That's for some of you. Now for others, for some of you Leos, I'm getting another, the other download I'm getting is that you could be dealing with someone who is, is, um, is a type that likes to hold on really tight to their money. Because you see, if you look at the Four of Pentacles, the card above the word present, this man, he's on all fours. He's got his hands on his money, and he's got his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head, and his brain looks like it could explode. Yeah, so some of you are dealing with someone that's, well, I guess I could use the word, uh... Tight or stingy, or they might try to 
this type of person could be the type that would breadcrumb you. Yeah, and they could be doing this because that's just how they are. Or they could be doing it because they think that you got it all. You could be the type that has your own money. You've got you've got your own this, you've got your own that. They could think you, because the Empress can have it all. They could see that you're doing so well. They're just going to hold on real tight to what they got. Yeah, so those are the two stories that I'm getting. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the Nine of Wands. And it's with this King of Swords. Yeah, so the Nine of Wands, when this card comes up, first, the first and the best thing is often take a deep breath. Yeah, take a deep breath. Calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take things one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so. Because at least some of the worries, they're going to turn out to be imaginary. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Yeah. Now it's with this King of Swords. Okay. Now the King of Swords can stand for a powerful opinionated, forceful type of person or man in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. You could also be tempted to only think about how things affect you personally, especially if this card does not represent a person or a man in your life. So you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this man or this person to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your expectations or your thoughts. But don't overextend your reach. Okay, so the challenge Nine of Wands clarified by this King of Swords. Yeah, so let me see what what I'm getting here. Yeah, so like I said, um, your person, like I said, they could be breadcrumbing you, or they just because they think you've got it all. Um, at one point, things were going really well; the connection was growing. But now they could be like really stingy or just holding on too tight. They don't do things for you like they maybe like they once did because they think you got it going on. You got your own money, you got this, you got that. Um, so you could be coming up with a challenge. You might decide to cl close yourself off to this person because with the Nine of Wands, it's it's about no letting no one get past your barricade. Like she's built a wall. Yeah, and she's got a wand in her hand. So she caged herself in there. And you could be thinking about closing yourself off to this person. For some of you, like I said, this person is just really clingy. They're, they're needy in an unhealthy way. They're clinging on to you. They're not giving you enough breathing space because they find you attractive, beautiful, and they just don't want to let you go anywhere. You can't go to the store without them. You can't go visit your parents without them. It's some type of unhealthiness here. So you can start to feel like um, this person is too controlling. 
Or you can start to feel like they're narcissistic, because the King of Swords, that's the narcissist card. So you might feel like you need to back off from this person. Yeah, because this is some unhealthiness here. Yeah, they might be controlling, kind of arrogant. For some of you, they, they're forceful. They overstep their bounds. This King of Swords can be stereotypically manly. And the King of Swords will mistreat you. Yeah, if they don't cut you, because this King of Swords doesn't cut you with his sword, the King of Swords will cut you with their words. Yeah, very, very forceful energy, this King of Swords. So you could be realizing that this is what you're with. Along with this unhealthy clinging. Yeah. So you could start to feel like you need to close yourself off to this person. Or you might just be telling them to back off. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the Three of Cups, and it's with the King of Cups. Three of Cups can be considered a card of reunions, but that's not its only connotation. It could be a reunion about running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away for some time. This is considered to be a really, really happy reunion. Very upbeat. It can mean some type of celebration, your own, or someone that you care about. Yeah, maybe celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really happy occasion. Now, it's with the King of Cups, which speaks of a balance, male and feminine energy, which holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he could indicate a person or a man in your life. Usually, it could represent a live person who's very kind and loving. This person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get this card in a reading. Now, the King of Cups, like I said, it's all about kindness and compassion. Yeah, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, yeah, it's all about love, kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. Now, the outcome Three of Cups clarified by this King of Cups. Yeah, so they, um, Libra, there's somebody here that's, um, Got a lot of love for you. The Three of Cups is indicating that it could be someone that you used to be with. They could, this person could have called you up or they could be calling you up trying to come together with you. If it's not a, a past love interest, it could be a family member, it could be a friend, someone that you used to know. You could be hearing from someone like that. But I'm thinking, I'm getting it's a love interest because uh, the King of Cups is here. It's about love, but it could be a, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a niece that you used to be really close to. Yeah, somebody's coming back or somebody wants to come back that that there's a lot of love there and when the two of you come together it's rejoiceful there's a lot of happiness um, it feels like a great friendship so this person is going to take your mind off of this unhealthy energy that you're going through with this person and you, you could decide to go back. Or you could, yeah. 
Maybe somebody's trying to pull you away from this person because maybe it's somebody that, sh that you've been talking to about this person and they're trying to let you know that, that you're dealing with a narcissist and that you need to come with them. There's some somebody that's trying to get your attention that you used to be with. Okay, they've got a lot of love for you. It's saying that it's going to be a really, really happy come together. And the two of you will rejoice. You're going to feel like you've got support. Yeah. So, Libra, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way, you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings, if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let us all thank God that things are not worse than they could be. So hang in there. Stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people, they can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. So just take the reading for however it resonates. And yes, um, the person that you're dealing with, like I said, they could be a friend, family member, a co-worker or a situation, just in case you're not dealing with a love interest. So Libra, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.